I know it's been a crazy couple of days for the Las Vegas Raiders, and it's not a good look, but be happy Cliff Kingsbury isn't the Raiders' offensive coordinator. Do you really want a guy that doesn't want to be a Raider? We had Raider fans kicking and screaming like they lost a young Don Coriel or Bill Walsh. Kingsbury had two pretty good offenses in four years in the NFL. That's not Hall of Fame material. Do you want to judge his replacement Luke Getzley harshly on what he did with the personnel he had in Chicago? There's no drop off in this situation. If anything, it's an upgrade. I'm not calling Getzley special, but he's a good coach and he's a better fit for head coach Antonio Pierce. He just had a young quarterback still developing as a passer. Before C.J. Stroud, NFL fans and probably coaches and executives didn't trust Ohio State quarterbacks. A string of them have come up to the NFL after dominating in college and flopped. The word on them is they come from these gimmicky college offenses and they're more runners than pocket passers. If you draft one of them, you have to be patient and develop him as a pocket passer. After Stroud, the word is something has to be wrong with the coach if he can't turn him into that guy right away or develop him quick enough. Never mind the fact that Stroud was more of a pocket passer in college and didn't really run that much. Well, needless to say, Fields is not Stroud. Like Stroud, he can run and he has a big arm. He can make plays off script and make throws that other quarterbacks can't make too. Unlike Stroud, he's not consistent because he doesn't operate from the pocket very well. In the NFL, at some point you have to be able to operate from the pocket. He's not reading defenses. He's not seeing guys running wide open down the field. You can't blame Gessie for that. The head coach before him got fired too. The problem here is Getsy took the blame when it didn't go well for Fields. Getsy is a highly respected offensive mind in the NFL, even after it didn't work out with Fields. He did what he could for him, calling more run pass options and spread options. The Bears were number two in the NFL in rushing yards in 2023 because Fields led the Bears with 657 yards rushing. But again, at some point in the NFL, you have to be able to do it from the pocket. Your running talent shouldn't get you a pass for what you lack as a pocket passer, but that seems to be what happened with Fields. Think about it. Mr. Trubisky's passing numbers are a little better than Fields, but all Bears fans can talk about is how he's a bust, and he is that. But we've never even heard his offensive coordinator's name, and no one blamed Matt Nagy, his offensive-minded head coach. But when it comes to Fields, all the blame is on Getze. They assume Fields hasn't developed at the rate he should because of Getze. Getze can't see those wide-open receivers for him. But even with things being as they are, Fields has gotten incrementally better the last couple of years. Those that want to protect Fields are blame Getze, but Getze doesn't screw up talented players. He was Aaron Rodgers' quarterback coach and passing game coordinator when he won back-to-back -back NFL MVPs in 2020 and 2021. Sure, that's Rodgers and he's special, but if Getze didn't help, why did Rodgers beg the Packers to keep him? However, he became the hot offensive mind in the NFL a couple of years ago because of the great work he did with Rodgers. Getsy was in the same situation Clint Gubiak and Zach Robinson are in now. They just moved up to offensive coordinator from passing game coordinators on top offenses with top quarterbacks. Getsy can coach the game of football. His ascension started in 2016 when he moved up from offensive quality control coach to receiver coach. He had a hand in Adams breaking out that year. Getsy is one of those coaches that helps his players reach their potential. Rodgers' potential is MVP and he did it twice with Getsy. Adams' potential was best receiver in the NFL and Getsy had him going in that direction in his third year. He can coach. One of the more important things about a coach is his fit with the team and he fits just fine with the Raiders. He was under Matt LaFleur and he's from the Shanahan tree, but I'm not going to give him that distinction. I'm not going to put him on a coaching tree. He's a West Coast offense guy that brought up some of that run pass option and things like that from Mississippi State. He's mainly a West Coast offense guy though. He spent seven years in the West Coast offense in Green Bay and won with all that college stuff at Mississippi State. He got hired to be the Bears offense coordinator based on what he did with Rodgers too, so you have to say the West Coast offense is his biggest influence. But either way, he likes to run the ball like they do in Green Bay and like he did in Chicago. And the West Coast offense passing game is there for Devontae Adams. That's what Adams was raised in and most comfortable in, so Getty fits in well with the Raiders' best offensive player. It wouldn't surprise me if Adams had a lot to do with him getting the gig in the first place. Getty knows how to get Adams the ball, and that in itself makes him an upgrade over Kingsbury. I need the Kingsbury lovers to tell me what he did so great. Let's start with Texas Tech. He was there from 2013 to 2018, but he only had winning seasons in 2013 and 2015. That's only two winning seasons in six years. 
Overall, he was 35-40 and 40 at Texas Tech before he failed his way up to the Arizona Cardinals. They wanted that air raid offense. They were going to make quarterback Kyler Murray the number one pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, and they wanted to match the offense with the player. Year one wasn't pretty in 2019, then they cracked the top 10 in 2020 and 2021. Then the NFL caught up to the air raid in 2022. That kind of reminds me of Chip Kelly taking the NFL by storm with the spread option offense at first. Then three years later, he's out of the league. As for Kingsbury, he took a role at USC coaching the offense and 2022 Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams got worse in 2023. Now he's failed over to the Washington Commanders. Better them than the Raiders. I'm really trying to figure some Raider fans out. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. The Raiders didn't get Cliff Kingsbury. Instead, they had to get Luke Getze. What are you crying for? The Raiders got lucky they didn't end up with Kingsbury. How are you going to have the best quarterback in the world, Patrick Mahomes, in college and you can't win with him? I know things didn't work out for Getsy with Fields, but he coached Rodgers to back-to-back -back MVPs. And how about the work that he did with Adams? Watch what Adams does this year. Thank you for watching. See you next time.